So most people assume that the lever harp is for beginners and the pedal harp is for professionals, but is that actually true? Today we're going to talk about the lever harp and how it's actually a very versatile instrument and there's a lot of harpists that only play the lever harp. Hi, I'm Danielle, I'm a new music harpist and I want to equip composers to write for the harp with confidence and versatility. So today we'll talk about the lever harp, why you should write for it, and some special considerations. When we think of the harp, we think of the pedal harp. Um, naturally, just because most visible harpists play the pedal harp. However, there are many harpists who only have access to a lever harp. They're playing the harp simply because they enjoy it um, and either can't or don't want to upgrade to a pedal harp. However, there's not a lot of original repertoire written for the lever harp, um, just because everyone categorizes it as a beginner instrument. So yes, it is a good instrument to start out on as a beginner simply because it's more affordable, it's a smaller instrument, there's less mechanism involved, there's less that can go wrong. As students pr progress, most teachers expect them to upgrade to a pedal harp when they hit the early intermediate range. Um, which if they're going the professional orchestral route is a necessity, um, but for someone who just simply wants to play the harp because they enjoy it, um, whether or not they're pursuing a career in music, they often are still pressured to upgrade to a pedal harp simply because most of the serious music, notice I said that in quotes, most of the serious music is written for the pedal harp. On the lever harp, if someone decides to stick with the lever harp, they very quickly run out of music after they hit the early intermediate level. Now there is music out there for you know, late intermediate, early advanced, but much of it is transcriptions of existing pedal harp music or other music and not a lot of original, adventurous, musically fulfilling repertoire. So the first important thing when writing for the lever harp is to get an idea of your target audience. There's a huge range in you know, skill level and musical preferences across lever harpists. You have um, people starting all the way from beginners all the way to you know, advanced harpists. Maybe they do have a pedal harp, but they like to also play the lever harp. Um, like me, sometimes it's nice to be able just to move a smaller harp for a performance. Um, or there's someone who is at an you know, intermediate to advanced level, but only plays the lever harp. So you do have a wide range. Another consideration is if you're writing for school ensembles, whether you know elementary schools or middle schools, sometimes even high schools, if they have a harpist, and sometimes they do, it's nice to have the harpist included in the you know, orchestras or the bands, but oftentimes for elementary and middle schools, the harp will be a lever harp, so that's important to keep in mind to make sure that your writing is playable on the lever harp. Most high school harpists will have a pedal harp. I say most because not all schools have access to a pedal harp. So oftentimes those harp parts are played on the lever harp. So if you're writing for those demographics, um, understanding the lever harp is very important. We all know that the pedal harp is fairly standardized. Um, the tension tends to be the same across models. They all have the same number of strings and there's you know three to four major brands. The lever harp is actually different. There's a wide variety in ranges as well as string material, size, and timbral quality. So it's kind of a good idea to familiarize yourself with the types of harps out there and get an idea of what kind of harp you would be writing for. I have a Troubadour, a Lion and Healy Troubadour. It has 33 strings. This is an older model Troubadour. This was built in 1979, I believe. Uh, so the modern troubadour harps are a little bit larger and they have 36 strings instead of 33. Um, you'll also see some slightly larger ones like the Lion and Healy Prelude and the Salvi Anna that have 40 strings. So they almost have the range of a pedal harp and they do tend to sound very similar to a pedal harp. Then you also have a wide range of Celtic sounding harps that are quite a bit smaller. Um, some of the other salvi lever harps like the Gaia and the Mia are built to sound a little bit more like Celtic harps. Um, Dusty Strings is another one. It's a very loud harp. It's really cool to hear those in person. And those tend to also be in the same stringing range, you know, 30 to 36 strings. Then 
you have even smaller harps, like the one you see in the corner there, um, that are built to be more lap harps, and those tend to have, you know, 20 to 26 strings. Um, so if you're writing for that, you have a very limited range, but those harps are also extremely useful. They're used a lot in music therapy settings um, and educational settings. I would likely default to writing for a harp that is that has, you know, a 33 to 36 string range, which goes from C2 up to G6, um, unless you know specifically that you're writing for a harpist that either has more strings or fewer strings. This is an acoustic lever harp, but we also do have electric and electroacoustic options. Um, they're not quite as widespread, but there's you know a lot of people that really enjoy playing those instruments, and there's not a lot of original repertoire. One that you should definitely check out is the Salvi Delta. It's actually held um, a little bit more like a guitar, so it's kind of a different playing technique. Um, it sounds really cool, and there's a lot of versatility in that. So I hope this is helpful, just giving you a brief overview of the lever harp. Um, I will be putting together some more videos that go through some of the technical writing aspects of the lever harp, like you know planning lever changes, um, determining what is and isn't possible, and notating those things. If you have any specific questions about writing for a lever harp, please leave them in the comments and I will try to factor those in when I'm planning future videos. So until next time, thank you so much for joining me.